engineering. He's the country managing director. And he's going to talk about something uh, very interesting about AI and using AI for designing a drone. And It's a pleasure to meet you all. So this is my first time attending this event. So it's nice to meet you all, or at least the most resilient one of you who stayed. Uh, so I'm working in a company that called Altair. This is an uh, American company uh, with a research and development uh, center in Israel. And what we do, we develop software that can simulate and calculate physics of the real world inside a computer. And in the next two hours that I have here, I'm gonna try to show how we can use this <coughs> to achieve better and more, most, more efficient engineering uh, using this physical virtual prototype inside our computer that simulates the real world. Uh, and now it's very popular to call this the digital twin, which I hate, frankly, even that every marketing, even and also our marketing, always uses this term. <laughs> so there are different type of digital twins. For example, the cat people, they create the, the 3D model inside the computer, they call it the digital twin. Or the analysis people that create the physical model, it's their digital twin, or the IoT people, they have the data model that it's their digital twin, and it's never actually the same as the real product. It's different. So we don't have a twin, but it's not similar twin, maybe a cousin that looks a bit alike. And that's not my problem with digital twins. The problem is that also we do very strong decoupling between different domains. So, for example, for the CAD model, we have good geometrical representation of the product, but we take out the control system, we take out the software, uh, so we take out the brain of our product. And not only we have a cousin now, but we have a retarded cousin, and that's my problem. <laughs> so we are trying, let's see if the clicker works. Yeah. I thought there is another. Uh, in between. So we are trying to achieve, help our customers to simulate the whole thing, the physical side and the uh, brain side of the product inside the computer. Uh, we have about, and that was the missing slide, about 8,000 customers around the world. Basically everything that designs something that moves uh, and manufactures it of the big, big, on the big company side, automotive, aerospace, uh, all the names that you know are our customers. <coughs> so to achieve, to create a simulation inside the computer, we need to achieve several steps. So first steps is the physics. So we need to be able to create and simulate accurately and efficiently the physics of the real world. So what can we do? Uh, and we are been doing this from the end of 80s out there is the second largest company in the world in, uh, in simulation and the biggest portfolio of physics uh, in the commercial world. So we can simulate all the mechanics, the stress, the strain calculation, the deformations, the vibrations, what will model analysis. We can simulate what will happen to the product that we're trying to design on the structural side. So this is a software called OptiStruct that calculates all the physics of your product. We can do the same thing also for a very fast changing and very dynamic type of uh, scenarios. For example, car crash uh, or a product drop. It can be phone that drops on the, f of the floor and you can see what happens inside of it. Uh, it can be defense application, it can be blast, things that are happening very, very fast. So this is radius, uses a bit different approach, calculates the same physics for different domains. We can calculate flow. So we can do flow uh, calculations, we can do 
flow versus structure interactions. We can do uh, heat uh, calculations, heat dissipation and cooling and stuff like that. We can do uh, uh, kinematic calculations, uh, for example, how the truck will uh, act on the road, uh, how the gear of the system will act, what are the forces, what are the moments, and so on and so on. And we can uh, cover the electromagnetic world. We can do antennas, we can do uh, communication, magnetic motors, heating, and things like that. <coughs> so, and it goes on. So we have 46 products that calculate different type of physics. I'm not gonna, so the two hours that I have are not gonna be enough. So uh, there are more niches that it goes into. Uh, and uh, one thing that I wanted to mention that we not only can calculate and reproduce the physics on the product inside the computer, but can also optimize. And for example, we can tell the computer, I know what are, is gonna act on the product that I'm gonna build, but I don't want to design it. I want you to give me the best possible shape of the design, so it would be the most light or the most rigid or the, uh, has the uh, optimal strength. And the computer will calculate the shape of the product. Uh, so this is the slide that was missing, and this is an example of some of the customers. <coughs> so we covered the physics side. Now the next step is connected to the brain side. So we <coughs> All our software is uh, connected and embeddedly connected to the uh, <coughs> uh, both uh, codes. It can be C code, it can be Python, and so on, or it can be controller uh, systems. Okay, almost done. Um, so, and, or it be, and can be controller system uh, model based code like Simulink or R software called Activate. And then we can generate, I'm gonna skip this. So we can generate a model that plays together. The physics and the brains are working together. This is a robot that takes a, a metal sheet from one place to put it on the other place. And all the forces are calculated. The analysis is fully physical and embedded with the control system. And we optimize the whole system and not just one narrow thing we look at the whole picture together, uh, and there are a lot of examples uh, for this. It can be uh, armored vehicles, that uh, the control system of the turret, uh, things supposed to play. It can be a wing, when the wing flow and the controllers of the winglets are uh, keeping the plane uh, in the right spot and uh, uh, in the proper direction to a vacation destination. It can be a rudder that rotates in the right way, with the controller and uh, uh, communication. <coughs> and I'm gonna skip lots of those things. So we also provide as a part of the package, the data intelligence and the IoT connectivity platforms. But I wanna emphasize this part, especially in Israel. So we have a startup program when we provide all our software capabilities uh, that our 4,000 engineers are developing to the startups for a sim, uh, to a very low cost, but that is less important. What <coughs> is important that we also provide our knowledge. So the full name of the company is Outer Engineering, and we are an engineering company. And when we are working with startups and we have experience with this in Israel, we are providing also the consulting on how to build those models and how to work with those models so we can help you guys to achieve, achieve better and more, more efficient engineering. Thank you very much. Oh, and I planned it to be in Hebrew, so sorry about it. <laughs> it was very good. Your English is very good, thank you.